Welcome back once again to Dinner Reviews. Now today I'm going to be doing a little sort of test DIY sort of project on cooling my GPU. Now you may remember uh, from uh, quite a while back, uh, if you haven't seen it, obviously I'll leave a uh, link up in the top right corner, top left corner, top right corner, wherever it is. Um, you may remember this, this is the Astro 24 from Aerocool. Uh, great little bit of kit, uh, comes with a little bracket so you can put it in your PCIe slot and literally throw some more air up at your GPU, which is what it's generally designed for, but obviously it can also be used as dual 120 fans on radiators or just for intake on the front of your case or whatever. And um, obviously you've got RGB as well, all the way around the outside and all the way on the top of it as well. So it looks pretty good inside your case. Now this got me thinking, um, can I do a sort of DIY project? And today that is what we're gonna be doing. So this is a really short video, um, I just wanted to have a little go at this, see if it actually worked. Um, so my idea was to basically create a bracket with my 3D printer in order to put my own fans um, that I've got into the PCIe slot and throw some extra air at my GPU again, um, but obviously without using the Astro 24, so the exact same principle, um, just with a different fan. And this time I'm going to be using the Arctic P12 PST fans, which are awesome fans, uh, especially uh, considered uh, the price point. Um, they are around about five or six pounds in the UK per fan. Uh, you can get them in more packs as well. Um, this is what I use predominantly in my system behind me. And when I come to walk call it again, which I will be doing, um, I'm going to be using these on all the radiators. I've used these quite a lot and they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, and like I say, really good price as well. Um, the other good thing with these is the called PST, so PMW sharing technology. So they've basically got uh, a wire so you can daisy chain them together, that's basically it. Um, but you can also control the, the PWM using using that as well. So just through one connection, you can, I think they recommend up to four fans uh, on one header. And I've got them set up in my system at the moment and they work really well. So this is what I've been doing. Um, I'm gonna be fixing this to a bracket, like I said, and we're just gonna see um, sort of what cooling we can get from it. Obviously, this should be better than the the Astro 24 because Astro 24 goes up to a maximum of 1,000 RPM, uh, whereas this can go up to 1,800, I believe. Um, so this should be better. Um, so basically, what I've got to do is I've got this little bracket. So basically, I went on online and I got a PCIe bra bracket 3D model. Um, just found one on, on GrabCAD. And then I found this fan grill on Thingiverse, this isn't mine, so credits to the guy who made this. I will put a link in the description below for the guy who made this, um, so you can have a look if you want it. Um, so basically do that, attach a fan to that, and then um, I also I put some support beams. The room looks easy at the moment because the actual system's in there at the moment. Um, support beams across and attach another fan there, so we've got two fans. So again, like I say, pretty much identical to the Astro 24, just using two different fans. Um, like I say, it is already in the system, so I've already done the testing. Um, but yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do, see if it works, and uh, then we'll get back to the, the results. So as you probably noticed, like I said at the start, it's already in the system, so therefore you probably guessed I didn't actually end up using this bracket. Um, mainly because um, the way I designed it is probably not quite strong enough. It, it just really sagged, so it was like hanging like that inside the PC, which wasn't ideal. Um, so I decided to use the bracket that came in the Astro 24, which is a little bit of a cheat. But you could definitely could get this working with a 3D printer as long as you, you could strengthen it up. Maybe um, use two uh, a two slot sort of PCIe bracket design, give it a bit more strength would work, and maybe one either side would work really well. Um, so that could be done, and I might do that in, in a future video. I might just do that for myself. Um, but yeah, so I didn't actually use this bracket, um, but I did use the long uh, support beams, which I'll put up on the screen now um, of how I designed those, and we'll sort of. Uh, they basically obviously give support so that the other fan can hang off it as well because um, obviously the bracket only connects to one of the fans. So let's talk about results, uh, how it actually performed uh, and it's actually pretty good. Um, so I did a stock test, I did uh, a test with the Astro 24 again because I've not done it on the 3080 and I also obviously did one with my system. At stock we had an idle of 35.3 degrees and the ambient was 21.6. Uh, and then under load, so I just use Unigen Superposition on 1440p extreme and high um, to push obviously the graphics card to its maximum uh, that I could do on my 1440p power. So on under load, we got an average of 49.4 degrees over the whole run and a maximum of 62.3. Now I'm going over to, to the Astro 24, like I say, it's a great product. Um, whilst it would work differently with different, fa uh, different sort of GPUs and different case configurations on how uh, how you've got your air cool set up or uh, air cooling set up already, which mine's pretty good. 
I've got three fans at the bottom already, so there's quite a lot of air getting up there. Um, so probably doesn't make as, as much a difference as it would in some cases. So Astro 24, an idle of 35, so slightly less, could be just a margin of error. Um, under load 49.3 on average and uh, a maximum of 61.3. Um, and the ambient was 21.9, so it got a little bit warmer in here because I've done a few more tests. Now moving on to the DIY fans, sort of the DIY setup that I did myself, so using the Astro uh, P12 PST fans, um, the idle came down to 34 degrees, and it actually was sort of coming down um, as I was setting up ready to do the test, it, 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 it kept falling, but I just recorded it at 34, because that's the sort of what it seemed to hover around at the most. Um, and the ambient was 22 in here at that time. Um, so under load, um, I got an average of 42.3, so you can see uh, like a drop of seven degrees under load and a maximum of 60.1, so the maximum wasn't as, as high as well. So basically all this is doing really in conclusion is um, just throwing more air and get air to it quicker. Um, so therefore the average temperature has obviously came down because it's not allowing it to get to its max temperature as quick. So over the run, it's it's cooler. Basically, to conclude, um, this just uh, increases the time it takes to get to its max temperature and should keep it cooler for a bit longer. Um, but it should, it probably would get to uh, a maximum, the same maximum sort of temperatures uh, after a heavy gaming session. Um, so it's not going to make a huge difference, um, but obviously it can be done. So if it's something you want to do, then um, obviously you can do it. If you've got a 3D printer, I'll leave. Uh, I'll probably leave a link to my STL file uh, at the bottom or just the, the, the places where I found these designs so you can uh, sort of design it yourself if you want to um, and then you can go from there. So yeah, like I say, that's it. A really short video um, just to see if it could be done and how well it actually work and uh, it worked out pretty well. So yeah, there we go. And thanks for watching guys again. Uh, I know it's probably a bit of a boring video, but thanks for watching. If you did watch it, thank, don't forget to give it a, a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Leave me any comments in the comment section below. Or if anything you think I could do differently, or if you've got any other ideas of stuff I can do with my 3D printer and fans and things like that, uh, I would appreciate it. And uh, like I say again, thanks for, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.